Hey guys, Joseph here. Today we're going to be going over a Remington Model uh, 34 that I recently redid. Uh, everything on this firearm is original with exception of two things. I have uh, upgraded uh, the stock. It is the original stock, however, I've done a hand rubbed oil based finish on it as well as the two original uh, flathead screws uh, that held the actual trigger guard to the rifle. I updated those to Phillips just because it uh, makes it a little bit safer to field strip. You don't have to worry about jumping out of a screw. Uh, so let's dive into it. We'll go from there. First off, we'll start off by showing the finish. Just like my normal, uh, normal hand rubbed oil based finishes, really shows off uh, all the, the individual grains and imperfection in the original wood. Comes all the way through. Need to finish doing a little, little bit better polishing job, but almost there. And the other side. Same thing, grain really, really pops great sheen throughout the entire firearm. And come further down, beautiful luster to it. Uh, the only problem with the stock originally when I received it, there was a, a crack that ran uh, all the way from uh, the main uh, mounting lug or screw uh, all the way to the end of the fore end. It has been filled, uh, pinned, and then uh, went over it with my hand rub finish and polished it out. That way we could keep the original stock, uh, but both it's safe to fire, it's functional, and it's solid, so you don't have to worry about that happening again. And just polished off to match the contour and everything else of the rest of the stock. Uh, the finish on it, uh, obviously, you are going to have a natural patina. I mean, this is a very, very old rifle. As you can see, it shoots 22 short or 22 long. The rifling uh, on this barrel uh, is ex exceptional. Uh, however, once you get to the probably the last half an inch, you will see some minor pitting in it. Polished out the bolt. Didn't go super crazy with it because I wanted to make it look as original as possible but one thing that needed to be addressed is obviously the finish of the stock really wanted to for for model purposes really wanted to to make it show off and pop actions nice and smooth nothing binds old tube fed magazine enter yeah there you go, Model 34. If you have any additional questions about this firearm or the process of doing a hand rub finish, uh, by all means, let me know. And, uh, yeah, overall, you're not seeing these less and less throughout the days. So, Remington Model 34. I appreciate it.